Good afternoon out there everybody on YouTube. Thought I'd bring you a short video explaining something that often comes up when I'm uh, dismantling cars here, especially the Corvettes. There's always seems to be some confusion regarding um, frames on C5 Corvettes. So a lot of people will ask me, hey, I need a frame for a Corvette. Uh, what have you got available or what's out there? Or what do you have? So. I've got this uh, particular C5. This was actually once a mighty C5 Corvette. You may have seen it in my other video. Uh, 2002 model 405 horse that was not wrecked. Had a kind of a bad story behind it, but truth is the tale here is don't go to jail and go to prison or in your car will not get confiscated and thrown away like a, like a piece of trash. So anyway, uh, with that being said, I thought I'd take a chance since I've dismantled most of this car um, I can show you guys what an actual frame on a C5 looks like. So, starting in 1984 with the C4s, the Corvettes went from a body on frame traditional uh, construction where it just had a body shell set down on top of a frame like a truck or regular passenger side passenger car. Uh, the Corvettes went to a unibody construction like Ford's been using since the 60s. So, the C4s are a really complicated. Uh, multi-piece unibody welded together with a lot of welds. I don't remember, it's in the nature of hundreds of welds to get it right. And then by the time they got to the C4s 12 years later, they figured out, hey, you know what? Maybe we can try a new technique. So GM came up with a process they called hydroforming, which hydroforming is, they literally would take this rail that I'm focused on right here, and it goes all the way down and down through here and across the front and then you can see it again here back out to here all the way across to here that is one frame rail so if you look at this car and get up here so you can see it there are only four rails on this entire car the two main long rails right here sorry for the fire truck and there are the two front rails. If I can get my focus right. One of these days we're gonna get this right here. So, um, when you're going to fix these or to repair them, uh, they actually are fairly easy to repair because you can actually just sleeve in a portion if you need to make a cut, let's say it's been here make a cut, put an inner sleeve, and stick another rail on there. But it is a unique scenario, the way they're designed. You can even see the glue in this, where the other pieces and the gussets are glued in. This is the firewall here that's glued in. The windshield frame assembly on these is actually glued in to this extension that comes off of here. And then it's glued in as a sub-assembly. You can see the bolts right here on either side to hold that pillar into place. And that's it. And then you've got a bulkhead put in right here. And that's uh, to strengthen, of course, in the back. And then this is put in here. You can see the spot welds here, where it's all uh, glued on, not glued, I'm sorry, but welded to these main rails. And the fuel tanks, believe it or not, are inside this housing in here. There's one on either side. So, thought I'd take a moment to show you what a C5 looks like when it's pretty much completely dismantled down to the lowest common denominator. Even the rear tub is taken off of this one. I pretty much broke it down completely. So you can take a look and know now when people try to argue with you, hey, a C5 is a body. I don't want the body, I want the frame. You can make them understand it's te technically just a unibody construction and it's all one piece that needs to be debonded. So I uh, thought I'd do that for fun just to show you. If you got any questions or comments, let me know down below. If you like the video and want me to keep doing some more little how-to or unique things about Corvettes, also let me know. I'm happy to share my knowledge. I've been doing this for over 20 years, playing around with Corvettes and dismantling them and breaking them up for parts and everything else. And just like to share this with uh, all the guys and girls out there that have an interest. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys next time. Thanks.